darkness will torment and scare everyone. This event is not recommended for children or others who do not want to be scared. You have been warned. Hello besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. If you're new here. And we are at Fright Fest Six Flags. I'm so excited. Okay, so if you see like a white light thingy, I just found out that there's a crack on my phone screen. Or not like my screen, but what is it called? Screen cover? The screen, screen cover. Protector. Screen protector. Yeah. So if that's what it is, it's not like a ghost, but that would be very a theme since we're at Fright Fest, but it's not. It's just that. So yeah. <laughs> But we're really excited because we're here because um, Oktoberfest actually opened last weekend when we were here for the opening of Fright Fest. And we didn't get a chance to try anything, but I'm excited to try something this time. I can't drink, but you'll be able to try some of the drinks. So that'll be cool. And then also, supposedly, The Conjuring Maze is opening today. And that's my favorite movie, like horror movie franchise. So hopefully it's open. If not, we're here to try Oktoberfest. So yeah, here we go. <laughs> it's just so weird. It's like a little ghost. So we decided to check out the Oktoberfest food first since we had about an hour before opening ceremony. So they have a kind of food pass thing to where you can try a bunch of different foods. The festival was way bigger this year than it was last year, which was its first year. It is over here next to Riddler's Revenge and Wonder Woman and the Justice League ride. There were so many booths this year. Like there were like three or four different ones compared to the one last year it is really, really cool to see. I really love all the food festivals at Six Flags and the fact that they're doing so many now is just so exciting. <laughs> going with the one beer six food sample pass so it comes with the stein and you get your first beer included and then there's a six different food samples which there definitely is a lot more options this year so it's very very much worth it because years before it used to only be the stand right over here and now as you can see there's a lot of different booths so here we go gonna try something and then you'll be able to get your beer too so we'll do that first pros <laughs> We end up using three of the tabs. We are right next to Wonder Woman. It's going right over there. <laughs> um, we end up getting the spicy bratwurst. We got the tri-tip poutine. And then we also got the spetzel. spetzel. Um, it's egg noodle with tri-tip and cheese. And so yeah, so that is a lot of tri-tip on both of them. So you definitely got your money's worth. But yeah, I'm so excited to try it. What I think is really, really cool is that Six Flags, or you hear people yelling, um, is that they've really done the food events a lot bigger than they have in the past. Like how I mentioned last year that Oktoberfest was only like one little booth. There's only like, they redid the restaurant behind me and then it was just like the one little beer stand. And so now they have like the five or six different booths that are so cool. So yeah, it's just really neat. And then during the beginning of summer they had um was it, i think it was like foods around the world or taste around the world type thing which is really cool also they had like six or seven different booths for that so it's just really cool that they're really like embracing the like food festival culture it's really really cool and i hope that they keep doing it because this is really neat especially like how much bigger it is this year than it was last year so very cool and so far for the price it was i'm not sure if i said it but it was 49 dollars for the six food items and the beer which is a really good price i'll have to ask jay how much the beer is <laughs> hey so which one did you get i have just a golden road october fest oh very nice what cheers <laughs> so for so for the stein it'd probably be like 15 dollars would you say for like theme park pricing so, so the steins are the regular beers are 15 and then if you add a stein like this two dollars extra but they actually have a ceramic stein which is really cool but that's 13 dollars oh that is cool so like it'd normally be like if you got it without it it'd be like 15 dollars seventeen dollars that'd be like seventeen that was like nine dollars nine dollars and nine dollars so that would have been like already almost the whole pass and we still have three more food items we could get so not too shabby the water wasn't included i had to get that extra <laughs> there is no place to hide 
You have been warned. So first thing we're gonna try is the spicy bratwurst. It came with like the spicy mustard too. So yep. But that'd be spicier. It's really really good. Next we have the tri-tip poutine. So I tried to pile it like all on a chip. So here we go. <laughs> so I got the noodle thing. This thing is so messy. Like it keeps like. Oh no! Tri-tip down. Tri-tip down. Oh wait. I'm gonna pretend like it didn't happen. Y'all didn't see it, so it didn't count. <laughs> so far, what would you say is your favorite? Uh, I would go back and forth between the poutine and the spicy broth. Put this beer cheese on the, not noodles with mashed potatoes. <laughs> it's still really good. I agree. I like the broth worse and the poutine a little bit more. I wish that this, as y'all can tell, is messy. I wish we would have had a knife to cut the tri-tip or something. The tri-tip is great, but it's also very, very big slices of tri-tip. Yeah. Oh my God. I swear we're going to wipe down the table. We're not going to leave it a mess. It's, this is just a very, very, as y'all can tell, it's like loaded with so much tri-tip and cheese and everything. So this is our state of devouredness so far. Pretty good deal. And you said you got the Golden Road Oktoberfest? Golden Road Oktoberfest. There was a German lager that I wanted to get. Yeah. But I figured I might as well get the name, excuse me, the namesake of the event that we're at. And nice. I will try the German lager next time. Oh yeah, because you can bring the Stein back. Yeah. So we'll do that. That'll be cool. What do you say? Prost? Prost. Prost. And I'm not gonna cheers you with water because I don't want it to be bad luck. So I appreciate that. Yeah, so mental cheers. <laughs> so we are getting the table all cleaned up. It just turned seven o'clock, so we are gonna head over for opening ceremonies, which I believe would have just started. So we're just gonna finish cleaning up the table and then heading over for that. It's about like magic hour right now, and it's so pretty. One thing with my annual pass, unfortunately they don't sell it anymore, which is super lame, but I have the Diamond Elite Pass. You have the Diamond Pass, right? So with mine, um, I get a bracelet for free to come into the event, and my express ticket is only $20 instead of the $45, but because you have the Diamond, you weren't able to get a bracelet. So I have mine, uh, we're hoping that the Conjuring Maze is going to be open, but when I checked the website, it said it's going to be opening soon. Last week when I checked, it said it was opening the 15th, which is today, so fingers crossed, but if not, so far it's been a really good first day of Oktoberfest, so far everything's been so good. You were talking about the pretzel ice cream that you want to try I know, I'm very sometime. curious about pretzel ice cream. <laughs> yeah, so we're definitely going to try that next time for sure, because it does, it sounds really interesting. I'm so sorry about this, like, we figured out that it is my screen, I have a crack on my phone cover thing that we talked about but it just gives like such a ghost spooky vibe it's so weird <laughs> so i'm sorry if it's distracting y'all so yeah so that's what it is spooky <laughs> six flags app they have where all of the mazes are for fright fest and it still says that conjuring is coming soon so we are gonna walk by the opening ceremony scare zone and then we're gonna try it and figure out it looks like it's over near ninja which is actually over that way so we're gonna try and check that out and see if it is open. If not, we will be here for opening day though for it for sure. Yay, so oh my gosh, like, it just looks so crazy. Like it looks so wild. So yay, so first October fest done. Last year we came like almost every weekend. And so especially with all the food options and everything. There's a lot more food options <laughs> so. So many. So yeah, so I'm so excited already to come back and we still have- and There's an empty stage behind us, so I think they might have a polka band one day. That'll be so cool. And we still have three more tabs on our thing, so yay.
scare zone. It's literally my favorite, and it's so good. You were just saying how you noticed with the murals that are painted there. Yeah, they're all the old school monsters. There's <laughs> uh, Spanky, Heckle, Switch. <laughs> Did you see all... yours? Uh, there is no Showtime one, unfortunately, but that's oh, all right. Please. It's okay. It's all right. The, the more important ones are there, so it's cool. That is so cool. I had no idea. That whole area with like the ornaments and the murals and everything, it's just the best area. I love it so much. It looks really cool. <laughs> right next to the Oktoberfest area and Wonder Woman and Riddler is Justice League. Hall of Fame is very similar to Astro Blasters, and since there is no way, it was ever going to go on it. Hello, welcome to the Hall of Justice. Wow. This facility acts as headquarters for justice. We called you here to help the dangerous situation that's taking place out on the streets of Metropolis. Lex Luthor has teamed up with the Joker to take control of the city by wiping out the justice. Between Luthor's master plan and the Joker's branch of the Lacks, we managed to save us. Luthor, he can be my fantasy new character. We make a pretty penny just setting it for scrap. <laughs> oh, we've got lots of fun in store for your little citizens' brigade. So we just talked to some old friends that work here now and so the conjuring unfortunately isn't open today but they said it might be open at the end of the month with saw so that'd be exciting and like I said we're gonna be here like so much <laughs> anyways and we still have another three things to use on our Oktoberfest stuff so that's you we'll, we've got three more foods to try especially pretzel ice cream which just sounds really <laughs> weird and cool true so we'll definitely be back for more of it but oh man so far it's just been a really great opening of like Oktoberfest oh my gosh I was like oh my gosh just don't mind me <laughs> but it's been really really cool so far so I think we're gonna go through a few more scare zones and yeah and then maybe call it night since yep. conjuring and it's actually really chilly today like I have a sweater on but I'm just wearing a dress and it's like actually pretty windy out so it actually feels like haunt season which is nice <laughs> So coming the second weekend, last weekend was opening weekend of Fright Fest. This weekend is definitely a lot busier than it was opening weekend. I would say it's like probably even like double the amount of crowds. And there are lines for food, for the for the haunted houses, for everything. So it's really great to see that it's actually really busy tonight. Definitely a lot more people. I had a feeling that Conjuring might have not been open tonight just because when I checked the website, like how I said it, said it was coming soon versus how it said it was gonna open September 15th, but it was really fun coming out for Oktoberfest and everything. The food has been so good, and that price tap thing is super worth it, because I feel like with it, with the beer price, and for six items, I think you're saving about maybe like $40 or so, and the price was about $49. And then with our annual pass, we actually got $5 off onto it also. So that was pretty cool too. So it was definitely super worth it. And yeah, it's just a good time. I just really love breakfast. I love this event. And so it's just exciting being here and hearing all the spooky sound ambience, ambiance and everything too. So yay. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> yeah, when you're walking up towards X2, this used to be a scare zone, but now it's just like ambiance and red lights. And so I was just telling y'all about how I thought the Stein thingy in the past was such a good idea, and you were talking about it too. So you're like the it's such a great value. Right? <laughs> the the Stein with the beer itself is 
17 or 18 dollars yeah <laughs> so you figure that's half almost half of what you would get for the price that we paid for the six samples and something to drink Not and a shabby. souvenir cup <laughs> and it's a cool cup <laughs> and here is some more of the merch from this year in their display window i love all of the merch that they have this year it is so cute i definitely need to get this sweatshirt because it is my favorite scare zone i just like how cool it is with all the coasters and everything Fright Fest. One thing that is really cool is that even if you just have a regular park ticket, you can experience all the scare zones, which is really cool. So you can't go through any of the mazes, but we didn't go through any of the mazes tonight. We just walked through the scare zones, and it's so much fun. It's just so cool seeing just oh no, everyone. They're so scary. <laughs> They're so scary. And that's cool because there was more people. Here. What are we doing over here? We're taking a picture. We're yeah. taking a picture. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, totally weird. Yeah, yeah. Now what is the phone? <laughs> You can call people. Yeah. Call oh, people like, yeah. hey, over here, like that. Yeah, yeah those are really good. Okay. Okay. Much farther differences. Yeah. Now, how far from like over here, down there? Ooh. Oh, you can definitely make it that far. <laughs> that to be far? honest with you, you could do it even farther. Oh, so better yeah. than a messenger pigeon. Oh. There's messenger pigeons. Well, of course, there's messenger pigeons. That's how we get in communication. Oh, they're so much more accurate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who needs My one name these? is Reginald. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. All right, Reginald. Well, name's Commander Cajola at your service, oh, and I like your beard, you. man. Oh, my beard. I'm gonna recruit you. you. <laughs> That's so exciting, though. You got recruited. I, I know. That. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's just so much happening. Like I said, it's a really, really incredible event. Like I said, we didn't even go through any of the mazes. We just saw the scare zone. They're so good. Everyone is so talented. I love this event so much. I love it. It's great. <laughs> so good. Thank you all so much for joining, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! <laughs>